Charlotte's not nervous at all tonight. Uh, Charlotte, recent, Charlotte uh, is one of our art teachers here with Academy. She recently completed an MA in Fine Art Education at Northrop University, which included an exhibition of her own artistic practice alongside other MA students at the Baltic's Partner Gallery, Baltic 39 in Newcastle, including a written paper presentation of her research into how students value their work, and she's going uh, she to present that idea and uh, research with us tonight. Okay, so I'm just trying to kind of condense two years' research into two minutes, so it's probably going to be very quick. But um, I had to carry out a research project as part of my MA, and as a department we have huge problems with students kind of throwing out their work, they rip out sketchbook pages, they throw loads of work in the bin, and I thought I would look at sort of this issue and try to investigate how perhaps using kind of craft processes I could alter the way the students, like their own perception of the way they value their work. So, um, my own artistic practice has kind of evolved to be a collaborative practice between myself and the students. So I've been, well, originally stealing their work from the bin. And so I was stealing work and then cutting back into it to try and add value to it, to transform it into work. And I was just interested to think if I could maybe do this with the students themselves. So I kind of thought that maybe if I could get them to change the way they value their work, it might help to improve their critical understanding of their own practice. Um, I did it as a year-long kind of research project with a group of year nine students, and I carried it out exactly the same way that um, I carried out my own artistic practice. So I gave them well, numerous examples of students' rubbish and they kind of selected the pieces they wanted to work with from the other students' uh, discarded drawings or prints, pictures, whatever I found in the bin and then they worked back into them to try and add value and just very quickly what I sort of learned from this was well the students themselves kind of learned the basic core of knowledge and skills but not only that, they kind of they were allowed the freedom to experiment and to explore how they could develop their own skills and alter the value of each piece. Um, obviously, the time that they were allowed to reflect on the work was really important to them to develop, as I said, this critical understanding. But myself, I think it just kind of reconfirmed to me that a lack of confidence and knowledge it can have a huge role in how they perceive their work, um, their confidence especially. And if you, in reflection, if you can increase their confidence and allow them to look at what they see as a failure to then become success, it has huge positive effects and also really um, kind of helps to promote this feeling of resilience and to promote the working back into things to try and improve the standard of their work. So I just thought that I'd leave you with this example of a beautiful piece by a boy called Kieran Wilson. If anybody knows him, it's a gorgeous piece of work. It was another student's rubbish that he's then worked into, and a quote that I thought fit very nicely. Thank you.